Let's knock out the Zerker to diamonds real quick. Okay, I want the wooden sword. Can we take hammer for now? We have a pig. Maybe we do hammer dagger this game instead. Um, let's not crack this yet. Try to get a little more value out of it. Yeah. Get the banana. See this. There are four squares. <laughs> get another pig. Probably gonna let that get smashed. Let's see, where does... I want the banana in this. I can do this. Thank you. Let's just grab the pig. Hopefully good enough. Already got the replacement pig lined up. Maybe slightly unhinged. I can't play at all. I'm stuck benching this pig for now. I don't know, hopefully good enough. There's my dagger. Going to want banana number three? Even if I don't right now? Grab the space. Looking for dagger upgrades mainly. More daggers are fine. I guess piggy bank's fine. This is good. Gem box. It's gonna be pricey. Do this. Get both of them in the class bag. I'm pretty sure gems are really core on this character. They tend to be pretty important when you're doing dagger stuff too. Ugh, that's so much blind. Finding all the pigs. Gonna need some space. Yeah, I have a lot more gold than I normally would. I've cracked a pig almost every turn this game so far. here. 
If I didn't lose that fight, I would have been fine taking it. We also found another pig. Yeah, double axe. Mm, only sometimes. It's usually just what you sign up for when you're streaming. This class is more space hungry too. Uh, well, that's why you want gem box because it gives you something to spend money on that doesn't take space. It's not an econ item on this class. It is very much core. Um... We could mana dagger. We are going to be able to get crits. Kind of don't hate it. That's not how mana dagger's made. Okay, at least it was on sale. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we did Diamond Ranger yesterday. It's mana, it's mana Potion now. It changed a couple weeks ago. I A couple months ago, probably, at this point. It's been a while. But for most of the time I've been playing, it's been Mana Orb. I'm just so used to it being Mana Orb. Immediately get the replacement pig. Ooh. Our second one of these. There's our gem box. I don't want to say just in time, but here it is. We just want vamp daggers. Let's do okay damage. I have a lot of value. I'm triggered with the heroic too. Wouldn't lock it if it wasn't on sale, but I'll try it on sale. Our subclass is small too, doesn't take much space. They're always taking the knuckles. Kinda worried about bind. Don't know how much this helps though. Something. Putting 
so many pigs. Ooh. Oh, this can crit. Huh. Blind to this class item would be the strongest? I think blind is a big reason why you'd pick this class item. The extra accuracy is a big hedge. The blind comps can't always keep up. It depends. As long as you're hitting a little bit, it's fine. It reads like it's only 30% to gain the accuracy, but I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it seems like every time this thing hits, you gain accuracy. There are comps that can blind you forever and you never get to hit with Brass Knuckles, but most of the time, especially the Light Goobert comps, you get a couple of hits in and eventually the Brass Knuckles gets ahead of the Light Goobert. Or we just get shoveled. <laughs> okay. Well, I haven't had that happen in a while. It has the comma, you think it's 100% chance? Uh, I mean, it has the comma. I don't know if the comma is supposed to indicate that. It seems weird that that would uh, delineate. Okay. Um. Vamp amulet. Bad. Oh my god. I, I can't keep buying daggers. This is completely unhinged. There's a vamp amulet. Okay, good. Yeah. I want this. I guess I want this. Man, I'm so poor this turn. I'm gonna sell this hammer. Power. Mm. Our stand is good. Like I care about the vamp. How am I fixing my accuracy on this comp? I guess that's the big thing. It's probably too slow. It's also a big problem. Yeah, this is not remotely close. 
I think I picked the wrong direction. But that's fine. At least we tried something different. If I'm just you, but better. They do have more sun chance, but... Doesn't really matter. I'm rich again! Do anything. It's speed on the hammer, but I think I'm. You know, I got a bunch of stamp pots. You want to hammer them? Just be an armor. Try to amplify all the vamp. Interesting. Second blood dagger is very good. We're not getting seven regen from anything, right? Empower is cool, but I think I'm just getting Empower through stamp bots. This will trigger when the Dragon Scales trigger. Just gets me more Stam. Just do this. That is also more Stam, but also comes with space. I have a gem here. It's more relevant in armor. We have run into two Reapers already. Yeah. Yeah, we have debuff removal anyway. Cap gives us time to ramp up. Still doesn't solve my blind problem. I have no idea how we're solving that one. Simply dodging it. Maybe I'm underestimating how good book is in the blind. It's possible. Lock another cap here. I feel like the runes are too rare for Shaman to possibly be the best class. Yeah. I feel like Shaman's pretty huge bait. I could get mana, this is a way to solve it. It's one class that can truly solve the problem. Um sure. I don't know. If you've got brass knuckles, then you only need a little bit of luck gen. 
for the problem to be solved. Like, this comes close enough to solving the issue. It's just like, we had to spend all this gold on hammer and dagger. Just kind of fucking it up. Normally, it's just 12 gold, get your weapon, and then you can buy utility the rest of the run. Maybe this does something. Big maybe. Okay. Buys enough time for getting some brass knuckle sits in. I guess maybe that's all you need. As long as you can get a couple brass knuckle sits in between, like, Goober procs. And your accuracy is probably going to be fine. Maybe I want to retrigger this. It's just so expensive. Your experience with Hammer Dagger is that it's pretty solid to get to survival. Falls off extremely hard compared to meta double axe. Uh, maybe. I know I see this build a lot with uh, Claws of Attack. It's probably better early on with Claws of Attack than how I had it built. I felt like my early game was pretty scuffed, though. Granted, I was also buying a pig every single turn. Yeah, pot trigger divine pot. Yeah, I guess I could do it that way. Round 16. See pig by pig. Yeah, I bought like 10 pigs this game. It was crazy. That's a lot of hearts. We can't fight through the DR though. It's a cute board. I guess DR also griefs their vamp. Since they can't crit, they're not gaining full value from the vamp anymore when I'm taking 50% less damage. Alright, this does 20 debuffs. I did not mean to combine that. Anything. You can probably leave the gem box. 10 max health and a random buff. The max health is cool with all the vamping. I'll just take it. I don't know if it's any good, but I'll take it. Cap. Glowing crown, still have no mana. Okay, Phoenix arrive before Lamp revive. I'm 
not sure how much it mattered. Um, don't think the mana gen on this is enough to go blueberry. Mm -hmm. Collar's great. This is a bunch of life. Try running Deerwood Guardian plus Divine Pots with Axe. That might work. I haven't tried that. Uh, my problem with Deerwood Guardian is you can't really beat blind. Deerwood's the extra invulnerability, right? Yeah. It's Divine Pots. I don't think Divine Pots help you enough against Lycoob. The reason why it works here is because a small window of getting in with Brass Knuckles fixes our accuracy. But if you're just leaning on Divine Pots, you damage them for a bit and then Light Gubert triggers again and you have no accuracy again. Knuckles is also pretty good in the mirror. Like, getting crits does help fight through DR. I've had that come up a few times. Yeah. Oh, I still have my box I could sell. Yeah, like, let's see if this is even enough. Close. Really close. Yeah, they had all the rats. Yeah, so the one Divine Pot was enough to fix the accuracy. Just our damage was shit. Because we're Hammer Dagger instead of something else, and we're running into all the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, if we were just a real comp, we'd easily win this. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's the issue with being daggers. Like, we've got Vampirism. We're healing up off of most of our hits, so it's kind of just canceling out, but we kind of need the Vampirism for sustain. Because we also don't do that much damage. We're kind of a pure sustain comp. <laughs> what a good one. 28% of their damage in spikes. Yeah, Tusk Poker's really good. It's crazy how much better Tusk Poker is than the other upgrades. Fortuna's Grace takes so long to get your two luck back. The poison one is so expensive. This one you're often getting for just like two gold. You get an early on sale Tusk. Poison Daggers. I feel like you need multiple Poison Daggers. There's so much incidental debuff removal right now. I don't know. Poison Daggers are so pricey. You're always going to need at least one Bloody Dagger. Realistically, we kind of want more. Because we're critting with our daggers, too. So we want to have enough Vampirism to sustain through spikes, at the very least. One Karagoob and it's over. Also, just Sun Armor. I feel like every time I play a debuff board, I read more items on my opponent's side of the board and realize that there's even more random 